What do you guys think? Can you get into a vortex ring state without the sink crate or not? Comment below. Helicopter Hotel Bravo Sulu Alpha X-ray, two miles west inbound for landing Arosa on 5,600 feet. All the cables in sight. We are following the river to the little lake. And then we are starting our final descent. Here you see the approach into Arosa, one of the well-known skiing areas in Switzerland. It's a very beautiful approach, but it's also quite challenging. Going down to 60 knots. Starting from the lake, there are no more cables. This is the last one that we are crossing. Five knots of tailwind right now. I'm going to slow down already here. Here we are, down in Arosa. Still a little bit of snow. Hey guys, as you can see, we are back in Switzerland. It's a beautiful spring day. We still have a little bit of snow in the mountains. If you have seen our latest video, it was about vortex ring state. And we explained you according textbook what is necessary, which three ingredients to come into a vortex ring state. So the three ingredients are airspeed is below ETL, sink rate is higher than 300 feet per minute and torque is applied more than 20%. So today Christoph is trying to demonstrate or to try out if it's possible to get into a vortex ring state with leaving out the sink rate of 300 feet per minute or more. What do you guys think? Can you get into a vortex ring state without the sink rate or not? Comment below. Okay, let's dive into the video and see if this is possible or not. Hey guys, I just want to remind you this is not an instructional video. We are just sharing our experience. So if you want to try something new, out of your envelope or out of the normal flying envelope, do it with an instructor. So guys, I give you a follow-up on the Vortex Wing State we did last time. And we had the three ingredients needed to go in. And today I want to see if I can bring the helicopter into a Vortex Wing State without one of those three. That would be the sink rate 
higher than uh, 300 feet per minute. So we are here at 50, I have zero sink rate, 7,900. I'm going to even climb a little bit, I'm going to break down. Let's see. Yes, I think we are in. We are already 1,500. Now we are already at 2,000 feet per minute. Wow. And pull. Let's see. Yes, I think we are in. We are already 1,500. Now we are already at 2,000 feet per minute. Wow. So to go out, I pull collective and let's fly out. Yeah. 50 and 60 and 6,100. So you see we could even enter a vortex ring state without the three ingredients. We left out the sink rate of 300 feet per minute. So I was not sinking at all. Just pulling the collective in the wrong moment can uh, bring you in the, into a vortex swing state. So that would happen, for instance, you're uh, taxiing, high speed taxi, uh, 40 knots along the whatever, the, the taxiway, and you have to break because you see an obstacles or traffic, you would pull the cycling off and at the same time you would pull the collective. That's a way to get into a vortex swing state. Hope this little demonstration was helpful and uh, we continue now our journey and do some uh, navigation work, Cornelia and I, because we didn't fly those for quite a while. As you saw in the video, Christoph was able to bring the helicopter into a vortex ring state even with leaving out the descent rate. So what we do if we have to brake, we pull the cyclic back to break the helicopter speed, then we level it up again and if necessary we pull in some collective. Now we are still going up to Arosa with our wheels and we hope that we see some squirrels as they said we can feed them so that would be really cool. So let's go! We brought our wheels this time because it's quite far up to go to the village. Now we are trying to drive up to the village. We, we have decided to go off the pass. That was a very bad idea. The snow is super deep. Half of my leg or even more is into the snow <laughs> trying to get out. <laughs> oh. Spring is coming and the last snow from the mountains is melting. to go along the Eichhörnli Weg and you can actually feed them. I think in English they are called chipmunks.
Christoph is riding slalom with his UC. It's almost like skiing. made it back to the helicopter that was a wonderful trip to go into the village the nice view and the walk with the chipmunks i hope you enjoyed this little video and i'll see you on the next one bye guys thanks for liking and subscribing and i see you soon